Hi, I'm Samara and this is Mouse and we're from Sydney, Australia. You're watching Day by Day Vlogs. Good morning guys! Welcome to today's video. It is late, like quarter after 12. It is past noon and we're just starting the video today. We were slow getting going this morning. Uh, Gabby woke up at 8.30, no, at quarter to 8 this morning instead of quarter to 9. So that was good. If you guys are following us on Instagram, you will already know that we have a new Schleich horse at our house today. And this is him! Isn't he the cutest? But this is him. He's been wearing his new saddle for a little while, trying it out. And he has his new rider on him. Let's compare Toby to an actual briar. Come here. They're like a practically the same size. He's scared of this him. guy's a little bit small. But Toby wears his saddle very, very well. Yes, he doesn't try and buck and it off. No, he doesn't try and buck it off. And he does not mind that it is a girl's pink saddle either, <laughs> does he? You know, he doesn't mind the Barbie pink saddle. I always have so many stories I want to tell you, but we never have time in our videos. Last night I was thinking about how when we first got Toby, I curled up with him in bed and he t I tucked him under my arm and I was so excited to sleep with him. Back then, Macy slept with Gabby every single night and as soon as Gabby would fall asleep, Macy would jump out of her bed and come and come and climb in with me and cuddle up with me. So the first night I got Toby, Gabby finally fell asleep and Macy trotted into my room and I picked her up and put her under my covers and she started to walk over to me and cuddle up to me and she saw Toby there and she stiffened completely. Like stiffened straight out, was like freaked out that he was there. And she slowly climbed underneath the bed and slept by my feet and I was like, wow, she's jealous. And then the second night, the exact same thing happened. Gabby fell asleep and um, Macy trotted into my room. I put her in my bed and she saw Toby was still there and she was so mad. She uh, wouldn't even sleep under the covers that night. And then the next night, nothing. Gabby fell asleep, nothing happened. Like Macy stopped coming to my room after that night. So only, so it's been, uh, it's been almost two years now that we've had Toby and Macy's only just recently started to come back into my room now that she's accepted Toby and she loves him. And a couple of nights ago she came into my room and I picked her up to put her in my bed and Toby was playing around on the bed and Macy found my, the spot and she curled up in my armpit and she was so excited to be with me again. And Toby saw her from across the bed, ran over, came between me and Macy, put pushed his body between us and pushed Macy out of the way and cuddled into his spot. It was the first time that ever happened to me that he was like, oh, that is my spot, how dare she? And I loved it and Macy was like, fine, I'll just roll over and we all cuddled together. So we finished the book that the girls and I have been reading together. I always read together at the end of our school day and it was Sophie's turn to pick a new book. So I said, Sophie, go pick a new book. What book did you pick? And The Great Horse. Have any of you guys read this by Katherine Roberts? It's so good. We read one chapter. How did you like it? I liked it. Gabby. I loved it. How did you like? I loved it. Just been loving on my baby and I wanted to show you guys how cute. I hate when he does that. I like it when he actually looks forward and all strong. I've been carrying him around like this. Everywhere I go, I just tuck him in the crook of my arm and he's gotten really good and really used to it. Before I used to be super scared, but now I just carry him around like this and he's starting to really love it. But I just love him. Like literally he is so uh, much more, like it's been almost two years we've had him and he's even just now coming around even more. Just getting so much more loving, sweet, sweet and he loves me. He loves me so much. Look at his little tail. You guys see it? Oh, look how cute he is. He's not kissing me but he's thinking about kissing me. <laughs> he wants to kiss me. Just can't figure out how to get his tongue toward my face. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. It is like a summer day out here. You, you know it's warm when I don't have any mitts on. And by warm I mean like eight degrees probably. Okay, okay bye. Wait, come back here. You guys are about to watch Sophie's riding lesson this week. Did you love it? Mm -hmm. Are you proud of how you cantered? Yeah. Right. What about Sabrina? She's been spooking and acting weird. Are you afraid to ride her? 
No. I keep on offering her and saying, you know, if you don't want to write Sabrina, if she's freaking you out, it's okay. But I'm the same way. We well, love her so much. I just want to ride her all the time. You when she's I scary. I want to ride Spencer. You want to ride Spencer? Yeah. It'd be my first time riding him with the saddle. Yeah, but Spencer's crazy. Well, I'd rather I I rather I have to kick than. Pull. Yeah, okay, me too. I'd rather kick than pull. And with Spencer, you gotta pull. We are outside getting some sun because it's so warm and vitamin D. Whenever you can get a chance to have some, you do it in Canada. Anyway, I just wanted to ask her that in front of you guys so you guys could see that she doesn't have to ride Sabrina if she doesn't want to, but like me and like Gabby, even though she's having issues sometimes, we want to ride her and Sophie wants to ride her. The other thing that I wanted to point out is that, yeah, she's like doing a little tiny bit of spooking and we're freaking out about it, but all the other horses are as bad as that or worse, all the lesson horses. So Blue has hardly been ridden right now because he's been acting up. He threw a little girl on the ground at um, a camp, the last camp day they had. Um, Spencer is so full of energy. You have to have uh, nerves of steel to ride him. And he's a, a lesson um, horse and he's for the bigger kids. And maybe Jasmine's probably the only one really that's not crazy right now. So even though she's acting up a little, I know that it's just because of the season and because she's a horse and because these are the things that you go through with a horse. And we understand that and we share those things with you guys because we share um, our daily adventures and learning process with you guys. But we are stressed out thinking, oh my gosh, she's broken. This is the worst thing ever. We're just sharing that this is what we're going through right now. And we're super grateful for all the learning experiences that we're getting with Sabrina. Having said that though, we uh, feel like it's time to get everything checked out on her to make sure that she is healthy and happy. Look how tall Gabby got suddenly. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> this is her dog horse. And this is her toy car horse. This is what she rides whenever yes. she's lazy. Watch. I'll show you. I'll show you. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is my horse. And this is Sophie's horse. I called today to find out about uh, equine chiropractor to get Sabrina adjusted because I think this is the right time. Apparently she comes to the barn twice every year. They come in the spring because horses are acting crazy in the field right now. So even if she got adjusted, she might undo whatever they do to her. So early this spring, they get their teeth done. She's gonna get adjusted. She's gonna get all of her shots up to date. She's gonna, everything that can be done to her is gonna get done to her. So we're just waiting until that happens, right? Yep. Yeah, and so we'll get her adjusted as many times as the chiropractor says she needs it. I'm really excited for that day for them to come because if I know that she's feeling good, then I'm going to feel good, right? Yep. On with a Sobeys riding video. Sophie's wearing some of her new rotting pants Another that a subscriber one. sent to us. Get off my bus! They're just the little extra piece set. Are you okay? I'm always paranoid that she's gonna step on my feet or she's gonna step on somebody's feet and hurt. Right. There's a lot of dust coming off our horse. A lot of dust. Hi, Sabrina. Hello, I hope you're better today. She's already been super spooky. Hello. Super spooky. Look at her, she's like doing a selfie.
cool. This is the first time she wore them. Okay. I'm tired in no so many ways. Been gone for seven days. I don't know why I can't explain. We're gonna come across the red and white pool. Changing direction. You can ride two poles and then sit again on the other side. Heels down, toes up and out. No one has any idea what that is. There was no noises, no other horses. All right, canter. Oh dear. You were excited to do it. We're just doing the half. We're not doing the whole ring around, around, around. I'm home and we just had supper and we're gonna end the vlog and the girls are playing. Can you guess what they're playing? I'm raining. I'm doing a raining competition. Doing watch, raining. watch raining. Raining. You yeah, that's stop. actually a move. That's a hard stop. That's a hard stop? Raining. That's actually a move? That's western. <clears throat> and you spin around in circles. Well, at least you learn some moves on a game. Anyways, uh, for comment of the day. You ready for this one? Yeah. This is a good one. <clears throat> Comment of the day goes to Poppy, Poppy Logang M. Poppy Logang M. And they say, <clears throat> maybe we should have a name, have a family name for the subscribers. Any ideas? A family name? Like, um, Day by Day Squad, mm. or Horse Squad. Or, I don't know, day fan, I don't know. <clears throat> Anyways, that's such a good idea. I'm going to put it. Do you have any ideas? I don't know. Any idea? Do you know? A what? <clears throat> Someone suggested we should have a family name for our subscribers. <laughs> you know how, like, um, 
Let's that not do sky it. person, whatever. Nicole has, Sky. Yeah, she uses Sky Sky. Sky Squad. Sky Squad. That's actually um a SSO club name. Is it? <laughs> yeah. It's not. So what should our name be? Any idea? Day by stinking day. <laughs> um, How about <clears throat> awesome fans? No. <laughs> You're awesome anyways. Anyways, <clears throat> we'll put it to you. How about you guys comment down below. It should be day something though. Day. Well, maybe. There might be a whole other name that was awesome that, that we could use. So anyways, comment Long down below. <laughs> <clears throat> comment down below what you think the name of our subscribers should be. And we will try and go through them all and pick the best one. And maybe we'll get you guys to vote on it. Yes, you idea. guys will will probably say we'll pick a bunch and you guys can vote yeah. on the on the ones we like the best. Mm -hmm. That's it for tonight and we will see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye. Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.